Hey everybody, today I'm gonna open up this subscription box from the Boom Box, and it's the high-end baseball version. I've partnered with Boom Box to bring you one video per month where we go through their monthly release, open the packs, and see if we get anything good, and then I'm free to just distribute those cards to you guys, use some for Fan Mail Friday, maybe some for prizes, and it's all thanks to the people at Boom Box. So before we open this box up, Let's check out their website. So whenever I review one of these subscription boxes, I always like to check out their website with you guys. So it has the February high-end products uh, all displayed there. So it looks like there's some good stuff in there. You've got 2019 Topps Jumbo. I see gold label there. There is lots of different options to choose from. You can pick baseball, football, uh, basketball, and we're going to – look mostly at baseball because I feel like most of my subscribers are baseball card fans. There is a video there so you can click on that and watch somebody else review the boom box. But we're all here to watch me review it and hopefully we get some good hits. So let's check out the baseball first. These are the baseball products they offer. They have a $29.99 a month over there on the left. They have a build your own boom box and the high end version which is $49.99. And that is the one that I have, so we're going to click on that. The box I have is the January version. It looks like you can order now and get the February version. And it looks like, depending on uh, the picture there, I saw some Finest. I saw some Gold Label. I saw some Tops 2019. That's pretty awesome. Uh, six to ten hobby packs, and at least four of them are going to be high-end packs. They also give you a one-touch case. And extra packs could possibly be added, um, depending on if you get lucky or not. The more subscribers they get, the more extra packs they're going to throw in there. And there's some extra literature for you guys to read over if you want to pause the video and read through it. All right, so scrolling back up, it's pretty easy to order. You just have to choose if you want a subscription and save a little bit of money or just do a one-time thing. Go to checkout, click checkout, and then you can choose if you want to pay with PayPal or some other means. I always pay with PayPal, so I'm going to click on that and bring that up real quick. So it looks like ordering a boombox is pretty easy. Now let's go open it. All right, here we go. The original boombox, high-end baseball. You saw that there are approximately maybe six to ten packs in here. And it's $49.99, and several of the packs are going to be higher-end packs. So, you can see there is a 400-count box with lots of packing peanuts in there to keep the, the packs from moving around. There's literally no way that, um, you know, if a mailman drops your box, um, you're not going to get dinged corners on the side because those are going to be held in check. So, nice job with the packaging there. All right, let's see what we have. Our first pack from this high-end boombox is a nice fat pack of Bowman Draft 2018. That's exciting. That is a really, really good pack. Um, I've seen these for sale, and I've never bought one. They are pretty expensive. Um, so this is going to be the first time I've ever opened one of these packs. That's exciting. Our next pack is a Bowman 2018 pack, a standard pack. After that, we have a pack of 2017 Gypsy Queen and a pack of 2018 Allen and Ginter. And then we have a 2018 pack of Gypsy Queen. And there's a couple more packs in here. There's Bowman's Best. That is nice. Uh, Bowman's Best. These boxes alone cost... Um, I think they're $120 for a box of maybe like, I forget how many packs, and they're like six packs, I think, something like that. Not very many packs per mini box. So that is a really nice, um, lots of autographs in there too. So hopefully we get an autograph in there, we'll see. And they give us a one touch in case we get a big hit. We can toss it in there and keep it nice and safe and sound. That is very nice. There's the bottom of the box. And, here is what this says. So, I really like this. Um, several of the, the subscription boxes that I've reviewed 
did not have this literature in the box and that was usually one of my suggestions to put something like this in there. So it's nice that the boom box have this uh, cover and it looks like you can even peel this off and stick it on the box if you want to. It looks like it's a sticker. Really cool. So you see Bowman's Best, there's four autographs um, per box of those. And so we have a one in three chance. I like that they put the odds. So pretty good chance right there. That's probably our best chance. Bowman's Draft has three autos. Uh, 12 pack hit odds, one in four. Um, 2018 Bowman, one auto per box, one in 24. Tops Gypsy Queen also has a pretty good ratio there, one in 12. So you can also check them out on social media and you can share your hits with them and they'll likely uh, retweet them. Um, you can see or repost them on Instagram. I don't have an Instagram, so I'm not sure what it's called on, on, for the retweet on there, but. The Instagram is at the original boombox. The email is right there. They have a Facebook and they have a website. Next month looks like we can look forward to 2019 Top Series 1 Jumbo, which is a very, very nice release. I broke a case of those um, last week when they came out on release day. So looking forward to that next month. So here we go. Let's start off. We'll open these up, see what we find. We'll start off with um, 2017 Gypsy Queen. It's nice that the oldest pack is just 2017, and they're not trying to stick some cards from like 2000 and you know 2012 tops opening day in here or something like that. None of that for the boombox high end. You're only getting the uh, higher end stuff in here. Obviously, no um, big league. Um, Upper Deck, Gaudi Champions, what else have we seen? Uh, opening Day, we're getting nice stuff in here. So we have Robbie Grossman leading things off. Troy Tulowitzki is our next card, now on the Yankees, Carlos Rodon. Hopefully we find an autograph, Jacoby Ellsbury. And then we have David Paulino, a rookie card. And then we have a hand-drawn art reproduction there of Max Scherzer. That's a pretty cool little insert card. Uh, we have Josh Donaldson now on the Braves. And Dexter Fowler is our last card. We pulled a nice Dexter Fowler 101 hand-drawn uh, sketch out of our Topps 2019 case break. All right, so the first pack's in the book. Why don't we stick with Allen and Ginter now and do the 2018 version? It'd be nice to find an autograph. I've opened, um, you know, several of these packs back in the day, but never gotten an autograph uh, from Allen and Ginter. All right, so we have Brooks Robinson leading things off, and then Randall Gritchick, George Springer, and then we have Corey Dickerson, Gold Glove Award winner from the Buccos. We have Indigenous Heroes, Squanto, Magnificent Moons, let's Triton for those of you that like astronomy. Mark McGuire is a nice one. Mark McGuire, that looks like it was taken circa 1987 or 1988, that picture. And then Franklin Barreto is our last card in that pack. So we're going to uh, work our way up here to the best packs last. Next up, I'm going to do Gypsy Queen from 2018. Let's see if we find anything cool in here. You can always refer to this. 1 in 12 chance. So roughly an 8% chance in an autograph. That's not too bad. Let's see if we get it. Paul Blackburn is the first one. John Gray. Mark Reynolds, who just signed a minor league deal to go back to the Rockies. Scott Shebler. Aaron Althair. And then we have a Josh Bell. Jose Abreu and Juan Lagares. So no autograph in that one, but still fun to open and check them out. Uh, I think our best chance is in these. Let's do Bowman next, 2018 Bowman, where we get a lot of tomorrow's stars today. Our first card here is Anthony Rizzo, Paul Goldschmidt, Ozzy Albee's rookie card, Harrison Bader. Brendan McKay is one of those tomorrow stars. He's a great hitter and a very good pitcher. Chance Adams, another one of those coming attractions. Michael Kopech, another one, blew his arm out, um, but he will be ready by 2020 and throwing 100 miles an hour again. Usually guys that have Tommy John come back stronger than ever. Alex Lang, Brendan Rogers, young guy from the Rockies, and Mirandi Gonzalez, first Bowman card is the last one. So 
some of these guys, I think the Brendan McKay is the one I'm most excited about. All right, now we have two packs left. I don't know if I should do Bowman's best last or Bowman's draft. Tough choice. Well, what would you guys do? I'm not live streaming, so I'm going to have to guess. Let's do this one and save Bowman's best for the last one. Bowman's best has the best chance at an auto, one in three. So we'll save that one for last. Okay, Bowman draft. You can see there's 32 cards in this nice big fat pack here. And uh, all the odds, since I've never opened one of these before, here are the odds in case I do get a nice hit out of there. Or maybe you just want to uh, pause that and read through them. Let's see who we find. Maybe some Hunter Greens. Maybe some Fernando Tatis Juniors. Maybe a uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Let's see here. All right, we got Matt Mercer. Jonathan India, one of the top prospects from the Reds. He's been rumored to possibly be in a JT Real Muto trade if it ever materializes. Uh, just the uh, Reds infield of stacks. They don't, really don't have much room for him. Alex McKenna, Connor Scott, Grant Witherspoon, Nate Pearson. Here we get to the uh, first Bowman. Corey Howell card. Matthew Libitor is a nice one. I see his cards in Bowman's best. Taylor Trammell. Lots of good prospects in here. Some of these guys I don't know too much about because I'm, I don't know much about their minor league systems. Alec Bohm, that looks like a nice little toss back there to the late 90s design. Jackson Kowar, another Jonathan India. And then Adam Wolf. So it looks like no autograph. Um, Luis Robert is going to be a nice one from the White Sox. The White Sox have a team that's coming in a couple years with Eloy Jimenez. Oh, Alex Kirilov, that's my favorite card so far. If you're a Twins fan, you know this guy. I know Alex Kirilov because he's from the Pittsburgh area. This guy um, is going to be a beast for the Twins. Hopefully he becomes a superstar. we got Cody Clemens, Monte Harrison, Noah Taylor, and John Duplantier are or is the last card. So we are down to our final pack, Bowman's Best. I hope I get a chance to use this one touch with a really big hit out of there. That would be super sick. Let's, uh, let's see what we get. Bowman's Best. Opened a couple cases of these in my case breaks. And uh, always was fun pulling the autos and stuff out of here. But now I can finally keep one for myself instead of sending them off to people. Let's see. We got Trey Turner leading things off. And another Jonathan India. So three Jonathan India cards today. Oh, I see a rookie card. I'm hoping that it's going to be autographed. We have Logan Gilbert. Oh, we did get an autograph. Logan Gilbert autograph. Very nice. So we did get a hit in our Boombox high-end uh, subscription box. It is a Logan Gilbert autograph card. And the last card, oh, Ron Acuna Jr. So we finish off with the, my two favorite cards. The, the auto was my favorite. And I don't know, maybe this is my favorite now. I do like Ronald Acuna Jr. a lot, and I personally collect him. So these two, I don't know which one I'm going to give the one touch to. I guess we'll give it to the autograph, but this is pretty sweet. Definitely will have to sleeve this bad boy up, put it in a top loader. Let's check out the Logan Gilbert, see if there's any number on it. It's not numbered, but still really nice. I don't know much about Logan Gilbert because I'm not up to speed with the Mariners minor league system. I do, the, I do know the Mariners have the second worst minor league system um, it's pretty bereft of talent, but hopefully Logan Gilbert is one of their best and makes his way to the majors soon and becomes a star. All right, so that is everything that I have for you today for the Boombox. I'd also like to let you know that um, my case breaks are now on sale. I'll put up a couple pictures real quick of those. And you can buy, I hope you check out the description. I will put the Boombox's uh, website there, the original Boombox. So you can go click on that link and go check them out. You can buy the $29.99 version or the $49.99 version. And if you do, make sure you come back to this video after you open your Boombox and let me know what hits you got. I would be very interested. So thank you to the good people at the Boombox for supplying us with this box. 
and it is a pleasure to be partnered with you guys. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have a very nice rest of the weekend, and I will see you all later.